Hello my dear web methods professionals. Today we are focusing on parsing large JSON files. This is our sample JSON file which we are going to use for our demo. It contains repeated element called item, which we can consider it as array path for our requirement. In order to implement this demo, I am going to create folder and then a flow service. Here I am invoking get file service to read the JSON content from a file. Let's copy the full file path to clipboard from notepad++. And provide it in file name. Load the content in the form of stream. With integration server version 10.7, this capability is extended using new built-in services, for iterating over and extracting data fragments from large JSON files. This service creates an iterator object, which enables the service to retrieve the required data in batches. Only the array elements from the paths mentioned in this parameter are considered, even though the JSON stream might have more data. Let's provide the array element path for item in our sample. The array paths must follow the JSON pointer notation RFC 6901. Add a repeat step and set the repeat on property to success. Indent the get next batch service under repeat. Set a value for batch size. That means, number of array elements that the service should retrieve in one batch. In this example, I am setting the batch size to 2. The iterator parameter of the getArray iterator service is an obvious input to the getNextBatch service, and designer automatically connects it to the iterator parameter of the getNextBatch service. One of the output parameters for this service is batch document. If array elements in the batch are JSON objects, they are returned as documents here. HasNext indicates whether there are more array elements in the iterator beyond this batch, which the service can retrieve. Will be false when the iterator has no more batches to return. Here you can write your own processing logic with the current batch of documents. Add a branch step and set the switch property to iteration status slash HasNext and the evaluate labels property to false. Add an exit step under the branch step. Set the exit from property to loop and the label property to false. This step terminates the get next batch service when iteration status slash has next is false. Add the pub.json close array iterator service. This service closes the iterator used by the getNextBatch service. We can run the flow service now. But the debugging feature allows you to see the stepwise results of a flow service.
In iteration 1, the get next batch service parses the item array and returns the first two item elements as the batch size is 2. Since the last item element remains, the has next property is true. Let's continue for the next iteration. Iteration 2 returns the last item element in the batch array. Now the value of has next becomes false. The service execution stops because of false. Thank you.